a lot of them have a licenses. Let's head back to the backstretch once again. Here's Trish. Well, thank you, Sam. I think my interviewees are going to have to be as strong as this ferocious wind for us to last back here on the back stretch. But uh, joining me now is a very strong conditioner of racehorses, a top trainer, and a great driver, Mark O'Meara. And welcome, Mark. Thank you for that buildup. Well, it's a, it's one that uh, is deserved. You've been associated with a lot of great horses, including the great pacer, Jay Lobel, and of course, the great trotter from Firm Tribute, among with many others. But you're in a different role right now. We have this Billings Amateur Race going forward. You're just going to be watching on the sidelines as we send forward uh, a driver with one of your horses. And actually, this one is crowning glory. Tell me a little bit about the driver and the mare. Well, Tom's one of our owners and partners. Uh, we've raced horses for, uh, together for years, and uh, he just decided maybe he ought to try this uh, a little more seriously, and he chose to jump in in the billings. Uh, Crown and Glory, she's uh, a mare that one of our other owners that uh, probably is in more partnerships with Tom and I, and that's Joe McCluskey. And uh, we, we chose this mare for him to try and drive, uh, seeing how he, he got his other horse scratch that was romp away ozzy he won with ozzy out here last year and i think 158 and three i believe it was like a track record for an amateur on a half mile track or something something to that effect and uh so he was going to drive him and and when that uh when she was when he was scratched then we we chose to throw throw him back on crown and glory well tom is quite capable of getting the job done how does he match up with crown and glory he raced uh, her for the first time or second time last last week and uh, did real well and he won with her the time before so he gets along real well with her. It looked like that was a come from behind effort where she finished second. Does she race better from off the pace? Uh, probably, probably, but she had drawn the outside over there and there was a lot of traffic problems so he did real well to get up to be second. Tom's done real well in, in the series and uh, we, hope, we hope to get enough points for the horses and also for him to get into the final of the series. That's right. Well, we're going to take a quick look ahead to the bucket because you'll be up behind Song in Your Heart. Give us a quick word on this three-year-old filly. Uh, she's just a nice little filly. Uh, she's in, you know, the half-mile track maybe will even things out a little bit. I, I like uh, her chances better with four turns versus uh, two or three. Uh, she's not a real big filly, so uh, I think she can stay closer and be more competitive with uh, uh, on the shorter racetrack. All right, Mark, thanks for those quick words, and we wish you well in the bucket. Good luck. Thank you. Let's go back over to the infield. Owner